Hello beautiful strangers and welcome to Cat Reacts. I'm Cat and I react to mostly 80s and 90s films. If that is something that interests you then why don't you subscribe? Today guys I will be reacting to a film called The Breakfast Club. Heard about this film many 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 times before. However, I have just not gone around to see it yet. So finally, I am uh, getting around to see it. I'm finally gonna watch The Breakfast Club. No idea what to expect. None, zero clue. Seen the posters, seen, I think it's like teenagers. So I'm guessing it happens in high school. Other than that, I have no idea. You're gonna have to excuse moi, guys, if I look a bit tragic. It is really early in the morning. It is Saturday morning and I just I couldn't be bothered to um, freshen up and look like a model. If you want to join me on the journey of discovering what this film is all about, then go right now, hop on, and let's go. We accept the fact that we had to sacrifice a whole Saturday in detention for whatever it was we did wrong. But we think you're crazy to make us write an essay telling you who we think we are. And you see us as you want to see us. You see us as a brain, an athlete, a basket case, a princess, and a criminal. Holy smokes, is that the detention room? It wasn't so fancy in my school. Here we are. Okay. You have exactly eight hours and fifty-four minutes to think about why you're here. A whole Saturday? How long are they supposed to be there? We're gonna try something a little different today. We are going to write an essay describing to me who you think you are. What are we supposed to do if we have to take a piss? Mm. You gotta go. You gotta go. You whip it out and you're dead before the first drop hits the floor. You're pretty sexy when you get angry. Uh. If I lose my temper, you're total, man. Totally? Totally. Well, hey, Sporto, what'd you do to get in here? Forget to wash your job? Because you live in here doesn't give you the right to be a pain in the ass, so knock it off! Just ignore him. You couldn't ignore me if you tried. Try. See what happens. Are you guys like boyfriend, girlfriend? Why are you hurting so much inside, love? Go to hell! Enough! <laughs> hey! What's going on in there? What do you say we close that door? Well, you know, the door's supposed to stay open. So what? So why don't you just shut up? You know, Bender, you don't even count. I mean, if you disappear forever, it wouldn't make any difference. I'm hurt. We like guys like you knock everything because you're afraid. That's exactly why I'm not heavy in activities. You're a big coward. Wouldn't have anything to do with you activities people being assholes now, would it? Well, you would know. You didn't even know any of us. I don't know any lepers either, but I'm not going to run out and join one of their fucking clubs. So let's watch the mouth, huh? I'm in a physics club, too. What are you babbling about? I'm in a math club, the Latin club, and a physics club. Do you belong to the physics club? That's an academic club. What do you guys do in your club? We talk about physics. You're such a nerd. So far, I like him the best. He's adorable. Come on, Bender, don't screw around. What are you gonna do? Drop dead, I hope. It's very funny. Come on, fix it. Why is that door closed? Who closed that door? Who? <laughs> she doesn't talk, sir. No, I think she's a mouse. You're not fooling anybody, Bender. Eat my shorts. You just bought yourself another Saturday, mister. Oh, I'm crushed. You just bought one more right there. We'll keep going. I'm doing society a favor. So? That's another one right now. You really think I give a shit? Another. Cut it out. You're mine, Bender. For two months, I got you. The next time I have to come in here, I'm cracking skulls. What's with the rock and roll? Do you want to be a rocker? Party at Stubby's. Here you go. I doubt it. How come? Well, because if I do what my mother tells me not to do, it's because my father says it's okay. Who do you like better? What? You like your old man better than your mom? I don't know. He has a messed up family life. Okay. I mean, I don't think either one of them gives a shit about me. It's like they use me just to get back at each other. Ha! <laughs> Girl, you are weird. I'm sorry, I don't know what to feel about you. You get along with your parents? Well, if I say yes, I'm an idiot. You're an idiot anyway. But if you say you get along with your parents, well, you're a liar, too. No, it's me. I, I, don't, I don't like my parents either. I mean, I don't... Why is he trying to blend in? He clearly does not belong there. You are a parent's wet dream, okay? You're a neo-maxi zoom dweeby. Why do you have to insult everybody? Are you a virgin? That is none of your business. I'll bet you a million dollars that you are. Well, she's in high school. I hope she is. Why don't you just shut up? Have you ever kissed a boy on the mouth? Leave her alone. You gonna make me? Clearly. <laughs> See, that's unsportsman's, like, that's unfair. You don't talk to her. 
You don't look at her. You don't even think about her. I'm trying to help. How? Uh, Carl? What? Can I ask you a question? Sure. How does one become a janitor? You guys think I'm just some untouchable peasant? I look through your letters, look through your lockers. Do you ever consider dating a guy like this? Can't you just leave me alone? I mean, if he had a great personality, was a good dancer, and had a cool car. Why doesn't he shut up? What is his deal? Brian here is a cherry. A cherry? I'm a cherry. When have you ever gotten laid? I've laid lots of times. Name one. Oh, you and Claire did it. What are you talking about? Uh, nothing. That presently you and he are riding the hobby horse. You know, I didn't appreciate this very much, Brian. He is lying. Oh, you weren't motioning to Claire? It was only because I didn't want to know I was a virgin, okay? At least he admits it. She, this girl is, there's something very, very, very wrong with her. Eh? my god okay this is a very nutritious lunch all the food groups are represented here's my impression of life at big bry's house how's your day pal great dad how's yours super isn't our son swell yes dear isn't life swell what about your family oh my stupid worthless no good goddamn freeloading son of a bitch. See, I knew his behavior is direct result of deep personal trauma. What about you? Fuck you! No, Dad! What about you? Fuck you! That's bullshit. It's all part of your image. I don't believe a word of it. You don't believe me? Did I stutter? You believe this? Huh? It's about the size of a cigar. Do I stutter? Yeah. He is a deeper character than he portrayed in the beginning. How do you know where Vernon went? I don't. Being bad feels pretty good. Well, why are we risking getting caught? I don't know. Drugs. What is marijuana? That was marijuana. Loosen up just a bit. Shit! Get back to the library, Keith. We're doing it on. I wanna be a bad That son of a bitch. Ah! Benjamin! 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 What is this? What are you doing here? What is this? That's the last time you ever make me look bad in front of those kids. Do you hear me? And I'm gonna kick the living shit out of you. I'm gonna knock your dick in the dirt. This teacher has issues. You threatening me? Yeah. What are you gonna do about it? Come on. What are you Get doing? Get on your feet, pal. Let's find out how tough you are. I wanna know right now how tough you are. Come on, I'll give you the first punch. Let's go. You were a grown adult, a teacher. What are you doing? That's what I thought. You're a gutless turd. I feel sorry for him. As much as he annoyed me at the beginning, I feel sorry for him now. A naked blonde walks into a bar with a poodle under one arm and a two-foot salami under the other. Have you lost your mind, love? A naked lady says... Oh, shit! What was that ruckus? What ruckus? I was just in my office and I heard a ruckus. Now, I may not have caught you in the act this time, but you can bet I will. <laughs> she still confuses me a lot. So, Ahab... Can I find my doobage? <laughs> okay, sweetie. Oh. Did he take cocaine as well? And this is the worst fake ID I've ever seen. What do you need a fake ID for? So I can vote. You want to see what's in my bag? What is all that stuff? You never know when you may have to jam. My home life is unsatisfying. Well, everyone's home life is unsatisfying. And if it wasn't, people would live with their parents forever. What's the deal? There's no deal, sporto. Either you really want to run away, or you want people to think you want to run away. Wait, 
shit. She has some deep personal issues that has made her weird. You do everything everybody ever tells you to do. I didn't dump my purse out on the couch and invite people into my problems. What's wrong? Parents? Are they connecting on some weird intergalactic deep level here? Yeah. What did they do to you? They ignore me. What would I do for a million bucks? Do as little as I had to. Did you drive to school naked? <laughs> I do that. I'll do anything sexual. I don't need a million dollars to do it. I've done just about everything there is, except a few things that are illegal. Has she been abused? Doesn't it bother you to sleep around without being in love? I mean, don't you want any respect? I don't screw to get respect. You're a tease. I'm not a tease. Why are you getting so defensive? Sex is your weapon. You said it yourself. You use it to get respect. I don't use it, period. Be honest. No big deal. Yeah, answer it. No! I never did it! I never did it either. I'm a compulsive liar. You are such a bitch. No, she's sick. I mean, we're all pretty bizarre. Oh, you bizarre. Do you guys know what uh, what I did to get in here? I taped Larry Lester's buns together. And I did it for my old man. What, does your old man get some sort of weird sexual kick out of that? I tortured this poor kid because I wanted him to think that I was cool. And my friends, they, they just laughed and cheered me on. You need new friends. And afterwards, all I could think about was Larry's father and Larry having to go home. Explain what happened to him. Fucking humiliation he must have felt. Yeah. How do you, how do you apologize for stuff like that? It's all because of me and my old man. God, I fucking hate him. I won't tolerate any losers in this family. This father has broken his son. Win! Win! I think your old man and my old man should get together and go bowling. I can write with my toes. I can make spaghetti. I want to see what Claire can do. You have to swear to God you won't laugh. What's she doing? Oh. All right. That was great, Claire. My image of you is totally blown. You swore to God you wouldn't laugh. Am I laughing? You fucking prick. What do you care what I think anyway? I don't even count. I could disappear forever and it wouldn't make any difference. The thing is with him, I'm mixed. Like, I feel sorry for him. People trashing on him and all that. But I hate the way he's just projecting his own hatred on everybody else. You got everything, and I got shit. Are those real diamonds, Claire? Shut up. Did your daddy buy those? Shut things? up! Okay, so go home and cry to your daddy. Don't cry here, okay? He's just disregarding the fact that everybody has problems that he knows nothing about. Oh my God, are we gonna be like our parents? It's unavoidable. When you grow up, your heart dies. Who cares? I care. What is gonna happen to us on Monday? Are we still friends now? Are friends now good now? Yeah. I don't think so. That's a real nice attitude, Claire. If Brian came walking up to you in the hall on Monday, what would you do? You know exactly what you'd do. You'd say hi to him, and when he left, you'd cut him all up so your friends wouldn't think that you really liked him. What if I came up to you? Same exact thing. You are a bitch! Because you know how shitty that is to do to someone. What would your friends say if we were walking down the hall together? They'd laugh their asses off, and you'd probably tell them that you were doing it with me so they'd forgive you for being seen with me. Don't you ever talk about my friends. As far as being concerned about what's going to happen when you and I walk down the hallways of school, you can forget it, because it's never going to happen. I hate you. Good. You're, like, full of yourself. Why are you like that? I hate it. I hate having to go along with everything my friends say. Then why do you do it? I don't... You're not friends with the same kind of people that Annie and I are friends with. You know, you just don't understand... The pressure that they can put on you. You think I don't understand pressure, Claire? So I'm here today. I'm here. Mr. Ryan found a gun in the locker. Oh. Why'd you have a gun in your locker? I tried. Please don't tell me you try what I think you tried. I can go on, I mean. Did this school put you in detention for this instead of getting you professional help? Wow, 80s were a different time. Can't have an F. I know my parents can. It was a handgun. It was weird. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> you want to know what I did to get in? Nothing. I didn't have anything better. You're laughing at me. <laughs> no. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Yeah, 
Well, it's kind of a waste for all of us to write our papers anyway. You just don't want to write your papers. You're the smartest, right? <laughs> well. <laughs> Come on. You know, you really do look a lot better without all that black shit in your eyes. I like that black shit. Why are you being so nice to me? Because you're letting me. You lost? So, with a little makeup, she stopped being weird? She's normal now? You know how you said before how your parents use you to get back at each other? Wouldn't I be outstanding in that capacity? See your face. Is that good or bad? That's an unlikely pair, but okay. I'm here for it. See you next Saturday. Yeah. We accept the fact that we had to sacrifice a whole Saturday in detention for whatever it was we did wrong. But we think you're crazy to make us write an essay telling you who we think we are. And you see us as you want to see us. But what we found out is that each one of us is a brain. And an athlete. And a basket case. A princess. And a criminal. Does that answer your question? Sincerely yours, The Breakfast Club. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, that was me watching The Breakfast Club. I liked it. It was deeper than I thought it was gonna be. It was weird, but it was weird in a good way. And I liked seeing a high school film where we actually get to know the characters on a deeper level. I mean, yeah, in the beginning, they're just the surface. You see, like I said, the athlete, the criminal, the nerd, the eccentric, and the princess. But then when you get to know them, like on a deeper level, you get to know why they became these people, why they were assigned into these roles. So yeah, I, I really did like this film. I would say, 4.5 out of 5. It was a good film and I can see why it's a classic. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll put a new videos for this week. I'll see you on the next video.